If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the Filthy Capitalist option. It already says... 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed, and y'all shall lead them. To so buy our merch. Yes, dear listener. Yes, dear listener. <laughs> yes, dear listener. Here we are. Stronghold by the band Testament. Shout out to Matt from Patreon. This song is for no, him. No, 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 sorry. Oh. That, you, you can't read my notes. Everything got really mixed up. But okay. They're straightened out in my head. Number six is Mojo. Put this one out. Because Matt did about Blue October. Okay. So, so, can you go, <laughs> so go read the thing on the So this one is for uh, the big homie Mojo. Um, this song, it's Testament Stronghold. Elected to the show and, oh, wait a minute. No, there's nothing to say. Oh, right here. Requested by the fortune seeker James Coburn as Brit, the knife expert. It's <laughs> a cute way of doing this. You know, this this kind of makes me want to watch that that. Uh, yeah, that, I agree. That thingamajiggy. I agree. You know, I there was one western. It was with Kevin Costner, and it had the the most badass line I've ever heard in my life. He said, "People are gonna die, and I'm gonna kill them." I was like, yes. yo. Why have I heard that too? Yeah, I've said that. <laughs> because that was Kevin. <laughs> ah! shout, out, shout, out to Kevin <laughs> shout out to Kevin Costner. Uh, but they were bad. See, that's the yeah, thing. is oh, that yeah, The people yeah. that he was about to dispatch. Dances with Wolves? No, it wasn't Dances with the Wolves. It was, uh, I think the name of the film was Open Range was oh. the name of the, the, the film. Because Kevin Costner plays in that one. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, it was this, these bullies, and they were horrible, and fight, like they were doing all types of horrible shit. And he went to the girl. He basically said, "People are gonna die, and I'm gonna kill them." He told Shorty, "Like stay inside, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm gonna light up these dudes, and then blah blah blah." That's it. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, Testament stronghold. Let's, Let's go. do it. Let's do it.
baby. This is metal, baby. literally four people bro <laughs> you know when you said it i thought of like the werewolf shout out to the gang huh i thought of a werewolf when you said it but yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 there's yeah. something else afoot here yeah yeah uh okay well this is this is gonna be a controversial one. Oh, this is gonna be a very controversial one okay uh okay so elected to the show and our freedom never knows how is who and where to why we fail those who are in charge in controlling who we are when there's nothing we can even fucking do uprise stronghold fight for survival fighting for your life or fighting for the reptiles the snakes well you know i don't know there, i forgot the guy's name but he believes that the I don't know oh, if he believes it, but yeah. there's like snake people. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder what Jacques Vallée thinks about that. Oh, it's a very interesting concept. Um, but, you know, I think in... So I don't know if he's like nodding to that guy, like the, the reptilians. Like there's a whole... Yeah, yeah. There's a whole race of like extraterrestrial beings and they look like reptilians and that's that's where you get... You know, the talking snake from the Garden of Eden, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I don't really think the the point there was a talking snake. I think it was more of a um, a carabim or a carob or a seraph, but that's a completely different story. But the point is, like, these people really believe in these mm -hmm. like reptilian beings who, like, shapeshift as humans, but, like, sometimes you can catch them off guard and they they flash as reptilian because their, their cover's blown or whatever. Um Yes, David Ike, I think the guy's name is. Yeah, something like, oh, shout out to Tribal Python. Yeah, the reptilian race that's inf infiltrated our government and the upper class elite. Yeah, so like, they're all reptilians. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember you telling me about so that. So I don't, I don't know if, I, I don't know, I mean, but that, that's kind of like, you know, the QAnon mm -hmm. kind of conspiracy world type situation. Um. So we're fighting for the rep for the reptiles, freedom of speech, freedom of lies. They tell us what we want to hear. It happens all the time. Um, 
I'm not sure that they're telling us what what we want to hear. But I will I, I will say, man, like. What do this, you mean? Are we talking about political leaders? Yeah, they're talking about political leaders, like the upper class, the elite. Yeah, but well, they do do that. They what, they tell us what we want to hear. Otherwise, like some like let's say uh, who who was it? There was somebody that was just like they realized that right now not everybody wants you. Like they're gonna tell you if they think that you don't want it, you're not good with abortion. Then they're gonna present stuff that way. Just like okay, forget it. I can't think of any for instances. But they they do that like they they say it in a way that we want to hear it. They don't they don't they try to shy away from telling us what the actual truth is when they're when they're doing all their political they make their political promises and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I think yeah when you want to hear those things. Yeah, when you're when you're running a campaign, yeah, they do that. Joe Biden, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, blah blah blah. That's true, but. What I'm talking like nobody wanted to hear in two, at the end of 2019 into 2020 or whatever COVID started. Nobody wanted to hear we're going to lock you down and we're going to make your five year old wear mask at preschool or whatever. Nobody wanted to hear that. Mm-hmm. Um, but what they did was, and this is a thing that that blows my mind about the current political climate. These people have done such a good job at tribalizing people that people celebrate their own oppression so these twitter files come out and we find we we get it confirmed that the intelligence agencies and the u.s government strongly suggested to suppress truth oh the hunter biden laptop story was true you had 50 plus former and current intelligence folks Signing this letter saying this is Russian disinformation. Then you have Kaylee McEnany. I nobody likes the Trump regime, whatever. Twitter suspended the press secretary of the United States of America for telling a true st- telling a true story. That's a problem. Then they suspended the New York Post, a news outlet, for telling the truth. And there are People that are saying, well, they it resulted in a favorable thing for me because Biden got elected and not Trump, so that's okay. And nobody can think a step ahead and yeah. say, yeah, What's next? but if you open that door, mm-hmm. what do you think it's just going to stay there? <laughs> so now the people who all my life were talking about free speech and free press – all of them were on the left. I did not grow up hearing anything about free speech and free press from the right. Mm-hmm. I learned about it generally in school, but on the ground, the people that were fighting for it was like Bill Maher, all that shit. Like Bill Maher, you know, I didn't know it at the time, but shaped a lot of my understanding of social politics because I used to oh. stay up at night. He, he used to have to show something, something with Bill Maher. It was on network TV every night. And then he said something about the troops being cowards or something, and that was it was too close to 9/11, and that was the end of him. But oh, I'm like, yo, I would have never thought that people that identify with that side of the of, of the aisle would ever say, oh yeah, this was great that Twitter worked with the U.S. government and the fucking intelligence apparatus to stifle speech, not only speech but the fucking truth. Yeah. During an election. Yeah, that's crazy. For four years, we were hearing that the Russians and their troll farms completely shaped our elections. And it was all bullshit. But then when you actually had empirical data that says these guys did that in the middle of 20 days into a fuck before the fucking election, people are fine with that. Because it was against somebody that they, mm-hmm. they, they did such a, I got to tip my head. This is the best psychological operation I've ever seen in my life. You let these people tribalize you. To, they they made you hate Trump so much that you hated Trump more than you loved your own freedom. That's crazy. They got you all. They got you. I'm sorry. That, that's why, like, I make a point if I shoot middle America and say I was wrong here, I was wrong here, I was wrong here. Mm-hmm. Like for I, I say all the time, I was completely propagandized by the whole 9/11 situation. Blah 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 blah. The only people that were like, were, yeah, you've said that multiple. The times. only people that were like. 
trying to put the finger in the in the in the thing to make it so that we don't get flooded by was the left it was it was the left were saying war is bad the left were saying we're being propagandized the left were saying hey can we look at this another way blah, was it blah, a blah, very blah, blah. small left I mean, you know, the Bates kids and all this. And at yeah. the time, like, you lip-wristed yeah. cowardice because you don't want to fight, you little pussy. Stay oh home. We'll, we'll take oh care God. of shit for you. And they're like, what are you talking about? Who in Iraq hurt us? Like, like what do you, this is, yeah. like, you trust the government? And, like, now those same people are saying, yeah, we're going to trust the government for something like uh, 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 COVID. And they had a they had one message crazy and you have harvard stanford all these like super qualified people that uh you know it it was funny like malone malone got bounced off twitter a bunch of times he got bounced off linkedin a bunch of times and he said something that like knocked knocked me off my feet he said the people that suspended me weren't even qualified to critique my work that's not him being a dick it's just it's not like there are, <laughs> like, I mean, he had a he was in a very very specialized field. That's I mean, true. He, that's really weird. It was madness, and it's yeah. to this day you have people who are good with that. I'm like, what is? Do you not see the implications of this? Mm. Like, I ask people all the time. I'm like, okay, so let's say that uh, in some crazy hellscape that. Uh, 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 you, you know this, 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 this shadowy group of hardcore neo-fascists. Because f- fascist was a big word with Trump. First of all, if Trump was really a fascist, you would not be able to say so. Those words actually mean something. But anyway, anyway, and look, I don't care about Trump. Man, I don't care. I, I don't see much difference between Trump and Biden. Mm-hmm. I, I I think we'd be in the well. I don't think <laughs> my grocery cart would be fuller. The only thing that I think is different between Trump and Biden is that I do not believe that Mr. Putin would have done what he did if Trump was in nope, office. And I just that don't. Too. I agree. He waited until he was sure. Yep. That the January six shit wasn't going to work. It was like two or three weeks after January six. He's like, okay. Mm-hmm. But like, it's mind boggling to me. So like, imagine, dear listener, some hellscape where a, a cabal of uh, right wing neo fascists took over Facebook and took over Twitter and then started shutting down everybody who said anything opposite and started shutting down. And let's say Ron DeSantis is running for president and we find there's some, there's like a real credible story where, yo, this dude has said that he's going to destroy the constitution or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And these right wing uh, crazy people shut all, shut shut it all down. And then they go along with the fascist Republican government that says, Fifty uh, intelligence officers say that's completely untrue. He ain't gonna do that shit. I'm gonna lie to you. Like, would you be okay with that? If you open that door and there's not an outcry from the people, you don't think that's you don't think that's in the works with these people? It's mind-boggling to me. Like, these people are celebrating their own oppression. When you could do that to the fucking press secretary of the United States yeah, of America. so crazy. Like, but, but again, like, it's our generation. I'm sorry, but we're so emotional. They're emotional. They're irrational. It's like, hey, I hate Trump. I've got this real emotional sort of disdain for Trump. And I want to, whatever happens, I want to see bad things. I don't care what law gets compromised. I don't care what principle gets. They got y'all. Mm-hmm. They got you hating this man. He ain't do nothing to you, bro. I asked a guy one time, was like doing the election thing in, in uh, 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 Izzy, one of our one of our contributors. Mm-hmm. She was a leftist, but she's like, I ain't vote for Biden. Fuck that guy. And this guy jumped on, you're helping a fascist, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bro, tell me what he has done to you. Mm-hmm. What do you like, say? No, no answer. He was a run-of-the-mill Republican politician. He wasn't fucking doing any, he didn't pass any laws. He didn't pass the Patriot Act. There was no Verizon scandal. That happened during the Obama administration, by the way, the Verizon scandals where you're spying on uh, regular U.S. citizens. On, on uh, Like, it, it's just mind-boggling to me. It, it's absolutely mind-boggling to me. And then when you tell people, like, yo, your man over here, this is what they did. They go, and Trump is better? I didn't say anything about Trump! 
I said this specific principle if we allow yeah. it to go on. But they're, they're, they've got everybody so programmed to only think in the duopoly. So you can't criticize Biden. They got to talk to you about Trump. Same thing with Trump supporters. You can't criticize Trump. They got, they got us in this ridiculous duopoly so that you, and then they tell you, look, there's two teams, choose a team, mm -hmm. jump on the team and whatever, any criticism on this guy, whether it's true or not, and whether this guy is fucking you or not, you have got to, to bring up the other side. So you never, ever get a resolution. Wow. Because it's like, yo, this guy is doing this, this, yeah. and that. Like, well, what about your, yeah. well, your guys, uh, it happens all the time on middle America. I'm like, yo, this is really fucked up. They're like, Trump, is any better? I'm like, I didn't say anything about Trump. What are you talking about? What the fuck wow. are you talking about? Okay. I didn't say anything about, they got him. They, it, it's, it's, I, I, I tip my hat to it. Wow. I tip my hat to it. I tip my hat to it. And now, look, man, this COVID shit, I, 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 it's another thing I cannot understand. Like, you're supposed to take the data, and your your logic and your reasoning is supposed to follow what the data says. Mm -hmm. Last year, the fucking CDC said we didn't release the vast majority of our clinical testings because we didn't want people to think certain things. It wasn't ready for prime time and we didn't want the people to get the wrong impression. That is not your fucking job, CDC. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So when you hear the CDC say that, you need to say, oh, I need to adjust my position. And I, I was just listening to this woman on Jimmy Dore. She was uh, Levi's whatever. She was like at the top, top of Levi's. and Like the jeans? Yeah. Okay. And she, she said... Uh, she started tweeting about stuff and like, I don't know about this. Like my kid, you know, like the, there, there are massive harmful psychological ramifications of what we did to kids for the last two years. Mm. Okay. We, we, we've got videos of fucking preschoolers getting jammed up with masks on their face and shit, terrified out of their minds. And so this woman started speaking out about it. Levi said, okay, you're gone. They fired her. And then they tried to give her a, make her sign an NDA for a million dollars. She wouldn't do it. And so it's like, this is like oppressive, like this is not freedom. And it's it, and these people lied to us. The CDC did not give us the information. Wait, they, fi they, they fired the teacher. They fired no, the, no, they fired the. Uh, she was like a CFO or something for yep. for Levi's, and she was speaking out against it because of the effect that it happened on her kid and all the rest of it. They fired her for doing that, and then they tried to give How her. How can they do that? Well, it's that's at, freedom of speech. Well, it's at will. You don't have freedom of speech for an employer. They can fire you for any reason you want. I fired bunches of people. Matter of fact, your speech will get you fucked up more quickly than anything else because mm -hmm. when you're on social media, you're representing mm -hmm. our company. Mm -hmm. They have the right to do that. I'm just saying, like, you had people supporting that. You had some people supporting this woman getting fired. And they tried to give her a million-dollar NDA in her package to keep her quiet. She wouldn't take the money. Good for her. Like... She, cause she wants to speak out against it. This shit is crazy. Like we're in a lot of fucking wow. trouble. And again, it's young people, a lot of millennials that do not understand what actual oppression is. They, they don't understand, wow. you know, and, and, and I, I, like I said, these people are brilliant. They kept using the term fascist, Nazi, all the rest mm. of it to the point where it really has lost its, 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 its power. Mm. And that's why now yep, you say, right. Hey, these people in Ukraine, like there's a real problem over the, Oh, it's a, it's like, what? Like the the mind the millennial mind right now is completely, it, it's it's literally a slave to what's going on in the in the zeitgeist. Like oh, they, know. we are not able to think at all. All we can think about are tribal divisions. Yeah, it it is weird. Like with like the Nazi thing when you were pointing that all out and you could see like in the pictures. Remember they took a picture and it just so happened they had the symbol in the background like on the on the girls' yeah. uniforms and stuff. Yeah, national. It was Women's Day. It was yeah. Global Women's Day, and they're like, look at all these beautiful women in Ukraine. The girl had yeah. the, the SS symbol on she her. She had the Nazi symbol <laughs> right on her shirt. And, and like, when if Trump would have been standing in front of that or would have had that on his shirt, everybody would have picked up on it. 100%. Like, all the Trump, everybody would have. You know what I mean? 100%. They got it. Him. Right. But because it wasn't Trump and it was the Ukrainian women. It was the people was the media told you to. Right. It was the people that the media told you were good. Right. So then we just oh, completely overlooked it. And you and you can just see even when it became obvious that that's what was going on, people were still like, eh, eh. 
Yeah. Nobody oh, no, they, they, they I immediately. I didn't see one post they, about they, anybody. Yeah, they immediately. They'll, they'll excuse. We had it in Middle America. We had the guy on the float, the, the Ukrainian sit back here song. And. And there's a guy doing the and and the, what the right the, right Ukrainians the Ukrainians kicked out CNN and Reuters for for posting it. <laughs> what is going on? It's like they keep like action. Said, no, the guy he was hailing a cab. Yeah, That's he was it. hailing. I didn't say it, somebody else said he was right. hailing a cab. He's like, hey. Hey, cab, cab, <laughs> hey. Right? And, like, and that's what happened. The same people that for four years were talking about Nazis, are, they were fighting Nazis under every rock. Trump would say it's a good day today. They'd be like, oh, my God, this this is a, a dog whistle for yeah, Nazis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's those same, and they fell for it every single time. I, th- That's the thing. I, I, told to, I, I messaged somebody privately one time. I'm like, you do realize that all the posts – from 2017 or whatever are saved on this forum <laughs> like, you don't remember the shit you s- that's the thing and and like they use our ego people don't want to say they're wrong because people came out and said such like forceful things about trump mm-hmm. so now they don't want to admit that they're wrong mm-hmm. you know they said false f- forceful things about covid they don't want to admit that they're wrong it's like man come on bro Man, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. People yep. like, listen, man, anytime, let me tell you something. And I was saying this even during COVID. I said, I said, guys, I, I said, I support the lockdown on a voluntary basis. So if the government tells mm-hmm. me to do that, I'm going to do my best to support that. But I said, we can't cross the line and mandate it because if you give that government power, they're never going to take it back. What did I used to say? I say, remember the Patriot Act? Yeah, you did. Remember the Patriot Act? How we had this national emergency and then the government used it to take back our rights and then they didn't give them back to us. They didn't repeal the Patriot Act. I'm like, none of y'all are worried about Islamic terrorism anymore. So why are we talking about the Patriot Act? It's still there. We're still doing the, 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 the molesting thing at the fucking airport. That's still happening. So if we allow them to codify some sort of lockdown powers, what the fuck do you... So, so... And, and like I said, I was still more on the on the on the you know stay inside blah 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 blah. But I was just saying as a principle we shouldn't do that. But man, mm-hmm. we are, we are in a lot of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble because this song is complaining about how people are twisting the truth. But now we're in a situation where people know that they were lied to and do not care because yeah. they're so emotionally yep. married to this idea of Donald Trump is the locus of all that's wrong in the that's world. That's it. You're right. They got us. That's exactly They depersonalized wow. Donald Trump and, and used him to be the bucket. And everything that is wrong in your life, they poured mm-hmm. that shit into you. You could ventilate all your hatred against this man mm-hmm. and feel like you're doing something. Mm-hmm. And they and now, I mean, they got us. Now Now you got people that are that are pro censorship you got you got people that are for censorship and for government lies before they used to have to cover it up Mm -hmm. this is explicit we've got emails from from fucking u.s ro khan is saying whoa we got a problem here Mm -hmm. ro khan is saying yo there's a first amendment issue here and then on the media they're like this is a nothing burger okay okay all right i'm telling you you're not going to find out that you were wrong until it's too late. Oh my You're going to turn around and, and like the real actual, actual fascists are going to show up. Real fascists. Real Nazis are going to show up and uh, take the helm of all of these social media companies. You watch. Because I, I keep telling people, uh, there's not a lot of leftist billionaires and and the, the 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 our generation is so silly like we don't know how to strategize so now our our group demonizes anybody that gets to be a a billionaire right so now right. you're going to demonize every billionaire great great unfortunately billionaires hold all the power mm-hmm. and they always drift right for obvious reasons so put that together in a soup and see what america looks like in 10 years when you yourself are the ones that supported government intervention into private companies and all the rest of it. So using a private company by proxy to be a propaganda and a censorship outlet. Nobody's thinking about the chess moves. Like nobody's thinking two or three steps ahead. Right. Exactly. So anyway, there you go. We're doomed. Uh, I like the song <laughs> Thrash Metal. I'm going to give this a 9.4. Uh, this is a 9.2 for me. 
We've got one more song coming for you beautiful people. I know we went a little long today, but it is what it is. We got a commercial break. We shall be right back. Let's go.